Buongiorno. I'm in Italy. I'm in actually Sicily. I am feeling motivated today. I already recorded like a half up, half down. Sorry, do I need to like look here? I'm recording on my phone, so I actually don't know. But I did like a half up, half down. I don't know where to look. Video for my TikTok and I ended up posting it to YouTube because don't know. A two minute long YouTube video, I would watch that. I'm going to go through my March favorites in my makeup bag at the moment and let's just do our makeup together and chat. Actually, I'm gonna grab a coffee first. That's like three days old. Um, can you still eat? I haven't even left it in the fridge or anything. I had to throw everything out of the fridge today because you have to take the key out when you leave, but when you take the key out, it turns the electricity off and then the fridge stops working. So I actually just unhooked the key so that I could leave the fridge on, but everything went off in like the space of two days. I'm an espresso girly now. But this is my new favorite playlist. It's actually Jazz House. It's like, what a good way to get you in the mood, like house music, but with a trumpet. I've always loved that, so. I don't want this to be like a really, really long video. So I'm gonna just pick a few faves and tell you about them and why I like them. March, it's spring. We're gonna be talking like light makeup, really clean girl, very light on the skin, not too heavy. I love really light textures. I don't like anything that sits too heavy on my skin, especially when it's coming into spring. So let's talk through them. The first combo I wanna talk through is the Poco Beauty Universal Glow Treatment. This is such a gorgeous dupe for like a flawless filter. Um, it's just really nice. It doesn't, it has a little tint in it and there's not different shades. But what I've been doing is I've been actually mixing it in with my favorite foundation. This is the House Labs Skin Tech Triclone. This is by Lady Gaga, anything by Lady Gaga it's gone in my basket. But this actually has a really nice glow and then this one's a bit more matte. So when they're mixed together, they're really nice. I love products that you can mix together. It's kind of like your own little concoction of your favorite products. I love doing this with like Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury as well. And my new favorite thing is going in with your fingers. And I know it might sound a bit crazy, but trust the process. It gives you such a seamless look. This method as well kind of means that you can decide whether you want it a little bit more full coverage or a little bit lighter coverage. Like during the day, I would do this and I would just have it like a really light coverage. And then at nighttime, I would pump a few more foundations so that it's like more of a nighttime look and it can be a little bit heavier. You can see how seamless that looks on the skin. My skin looks like skin. It doesn't look like cakey. This is just the OREM Beauty um, Foundation Brush. This is Ariana Grande's brand. And I actually really like the foundation. It's very like the House Lab Foundation. Bronzer, this is genuinely my favorite bronzer on the market. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Sun Kissed Go Bronzer. It's chef's kiss. And I'm gonna use the Vive brushes. This is the Vive 117. This is by Jamie Genevieve, her brand. I love her anyway. But her brand, everything just looks so seamless on the skin, but I wasn't expecting anything less from Jamie, Jamie Genevieve. I'm on my own over in Sicily at the moment, and it's just, the only thing about being on your own is that like, it's a Saturday now, and all I wanna do is like, go out for drinks after this. Even just like one or two, one or two quick cocktails, like a few margs, that would just be such a nice evening for me. But it's hard to do that by yourself, especially because I'd be walking back in an area that I don't know by myself. And it's a problem that I actually think everybody that walks by me is a murderer. Laughing at me saying I've moved abroad solo because I'm actually going home early because I've so much on at home. I'm gonna do my highlight before my blush this time because I wanna use a powder blush and the highlight that I'm gonna use are also from Poco Beauty. These two, I've used this one. Kind of a pinky, sparkly highlight. It's stunning on the skin. Um, it doesn't move the makeup underneath and it's very your skin but better. I just like the fact that these don't move the makeup underneath because we actually don't have much product on underneath as well. We won't have that problem. I love the Huda Beauty translucent powder. I just think this is a really nice powder for anybody with actually like proper oily skin. I'm just gonna pat that off at the back of my hand first and then just go in. I like to go right up at my nose because it kind of like gives you like a reverse contour on your nose. Especially because it's very hot and sunny out today. I really need to lock all these products in. I love that nose contour trick. Oh my God, do I have some freckles on my nose? Oh, I love when I get freckles on my nose. Blush, I'm gonna use the Dior Rosy Glow. It's kind of like a more of a deep purple tone, but for anybody that has brown eyes and brown hair, you're gonna love this. 
this blush isn't actually like glowy. It doesn't have any highlight in it and it doesn't have any sparkle. So if you want something like that, you're gonna have to put a highlighter over it. Above my brow to give me that like sunburnt look. And we're going to literally contour with the blush, not a bronzer. This is my new favorite trick. Okay, the lighting has changed, but look at that skin. The base, it's a great face. I'm just gonna dust the rest of that bake off. To add a bit of definition to my eyes, my current favorite eye product is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. This is in shade Sepia, like as in like Sepia Tone, Sepia Tone, Sepia Tone. These are the easiest things to blend out ever. If you just pop a little bit of this in your foot crease, literally pop the tiniest bit on my bottom crease and connect it. It looks a bit old fashioned right now, but let me show you when I blend it out. I'm gonna use a blank canvas brush just for underneath. But it's just a really nice way to open up your eyes as well. It's especially good for anybody who feels like they want to like open out their eyes a bit more, like anybody who wants to make their eyes look that little bit bigger. Okay, mascara, my current favorite is Fan Fest. I actually packed two, I don't know why, but this mascara is so good. I love kind of volume lashes over lengthened lashes. I think it gives a more fluttery effect. It gives more fluffy lashes. I prefer fluffy lashes. I'm gonna leave my brows without product because I just got them laminated last week and I don't actually think they really need anything. If I was to, I have a brand new shape and set from Sculpt by Amy. I think this is a really good brow product. Lips, we're gonna go in with Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't like overdrawing my lips, especially like when it's kind of daytime. Okay, lastly, I actually haven't tried this yet, but I've heard lots about it. It's the lip oil treatment from Poco Beauty as well. Look how cute the packaging is. I've seen a lot of people say this is like really moisturizing. Oh my God. Oh, it smells so good. Oh yeah. I love how that feels on the lip. I hate a really heavy lip oil. That one feels amazing. Lastly, we're just taking this Kiko eye pencil and I'm just gonna do a few freckles. You usually kind of get freckles like anywhere the sun would hit. Okay, that one was a bit intense. Okay. That is the finished look. I'm gonna link all the products down below because you need them. I hope you enjoy.